Hi, I'm Jeff from Better Living Outdoors and today I'd like to talk to you about cover lifters. Cover lifters are a popular accessory picked by our customers for the hot tubs and what they effectively do is help you open and close the lid on the hot tub single handedly. The most popular of our cover lifters is the VX2 model and that particular one is fitted to the Barbados in front of us here. So let's have a quick closer look and we can show you how this works. So first thing to note with the VX2 model, we have brackets on both sides of the hot tubs. Now so these are typically mounted towards the back of the spa and the key thing to note is they add an additional 10 centimeters onto the width of the spa. But that purely is taking us to the bolt head cap that's here. So you just need to factor that in if you've got a restricted width. Second thing to note with this uh, cub lift, and we'll show you a bit more closely when it um, works in a moment, you do need suitable space behind the spa. So we would recommend a gap of 40 centimetres behind the hot tub, and that gives enough room for the cover to open and close without colliding with this uh, wall or fence or whatever might be behind your hot tub. So if I show you how the lid lifter works, come around to the front, and we'll just undo the cub clips on this particular lid. So we've got one there. Uh, coming over here, we've got one here as well. So what you would do, so typically grab the, the handle in the middle of the hot tub lid, lift the lid up, and we're going to fold this back on itself. Now, something that doesn't always get taken into account by our customers when they're planning their garden design is this height here. So we're looking at a Barbados at the moment, and this is at 214 centimetres off the ground. So if you are planning a gazebo or a pergola or something like that to go over the top of the spa, please, please, please factor in this internal height that you're going to need to have to clear. We've fitted a number of spas now where the question has not been asked ahead of installation. And what we find is we're colliding with a cross beam that's up here because it's a little bit short. So 214 centimetres for a Barbados is adequate. Most of our other spas in the range are about the same or a little bit less. But if you're not sure and you're thinking of putting something over the top, please give us a call and we can tell you the exact dimension you require. So once that's folded back down, that's folded over the crossbar. So the second motion that we would do, we'll grab hold of the bar here. So I'll get my hand on there. And then basically we're going to lift this up and take it to the back of the hot tub. And that is your cover open. So the cover is now sitting up around about 50 centimetres from the back edge of the acrylic. The gap between the uh, bottom of the cover and the floor is between 30 and 40 centimetres. So ideally, you don't really want to be putting anything behind the hot tub if you can help it. Um, that said, if you really must put the back of the spa closer up to a wall or you've got something that wants to overhang, talk to us about a hydraulic lifter option because that will work in a smaller space, but it does sit the lid up a little bit higher. To close the lid down, it's kind of the reverse action. So we will grab the bar at the top here and we'll pull it towards the middle. Now, what I will ask you to do, and I'll just move my phone around the back here so you can see, the reason we ask for the 40 centimetres is if when I pull this side, you will see that edge kicks out and that's why you need the greater gap there. So I'm just holding that here. So as you get, again get the impression, it's not heavy to use this lifter at all. Drop him down into that position. And then the next phase is grabbing hold of the skirt of the spa and we'll walk it all the way towards the front. Now obviously you'll tuck your cover clips in and make it all look neat, but that is how the cover lifter works. So if you'd like any more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks for watching.